Hey, you guys hear that? Sound like a bump in the night to Sound me. Sound like a bump in the night. Guys, welcome back. This is Eric and Chad here, Moss Pawn and Gun. And yep, we got another five guns video. This is five guns for when you hear a bump in the night. What do you grab? You know, bump in the night's a bump in the night. Yeah, you're in the middle of the bed, you know, or middle of the night asleep in your bed and you hear you know, your door crash in or whatever, the dogs start going crazy or whatever the case may be, what gun do you grab that's sitting by your bedside or in your lockbox? Well, bedside gun, kind of hard to beat a good 12 gauge shotgun. You know, yeah. not a lot you can't do without a shotgun. That's so, true. But, you know, I, I keep a Marine Magnum, a Remington, you know, by my bedside. And you know, the main thing too is that it's, uh, it, it's one thing to have a gun by the bed and have it on tap and have it ready. But if you're gonna have a, a gun that you're gonna use for home defense, a lot of these uh, guns here we've outfitted with some type of flashlight. And the nice thing about flashlights is that it allows you to properly identify what exactly is going on. I mean, you don't want to just blindly go through your house and go, okay, well, I think it's a threat. I mean, who knows? It could be a no-knock warrant where the cops have gone in and they're accidentally, you know, they're at the wrong place and they've kicked your door in. Mm -hmm. It could be a bad guy trying to hurt you and your family, steal things from you. You know, maybe he thinks nobody's home. It could be an innocent person who just happened to come on the wrong place and maybe they're so drunk or messed up on drugs that they, they don't know that they, they thought they were at their house they thought they're at their <laughs> house you know so well, uh, proper identification of the threat is is key to to coming out on top it is you know and too i mean a lot of times you know you've always heard the adage that you know if somebody hears that sound they're probably going to turn tail and run but you know you have a momentary on and off which is kind of handy because you don't have to just blatantly go through your house and shine this bright light on everything you know you just do a momentary flash and you can quickly distinguish whether or not you know you're you're safe or not in that particular area. Move on to the next and case your house, you know. But these little flashlights are great. I mean, we've just got a little uh, stream light. You know, this is one of the little TLR fours. It's got a light and laser combo, just mounted on the rail. There's plenty of other options out there that are lower profile. Sure. You know, but it's just what we had around the store and just toss it on there. But it works pretty well. So. Yeah, shotguns are hard to beat. Uh, some of you might want something with a little bit of versatility, and that's where you know some type of carbine. Uh, would come in handy. Uh, we've actually got Chad's AR build here and uh, this is a very high quality unit that he's got here. You know it's kind of a mix master in terms of upper and lower but uh, the components are certainly uh, you know first rate quality. Uh, again we've got a small light up here which is great. It's put in just the right location so that you're going through mm -hmm. checking things out and you know momentary or hold it down. Well it's a simple setup. I like simplicity when it comes to my rigs around the house. Mm -hmm. And this is just a little enforced WML, it's a weapon mount of light with a 45 degree offset. And the switch on the back, there's no question about it. You push it, it's on, you let go, it's off. You know, there's no fancy stuff where you, you tap it a few times, you get strobe, or you tap it twice, you get a high beam, none of that crap. I like simplicity because when you're in a stressful situation, you know, or whatnot, you don't know what's going on, you don't need all these bells and whistles to fumble around, so. Got the uh, 13 inch Geisley rail on there, excellent rail, Geisley gas block. We got one of the new Sharps Rifle Company complete bolt carrier groups in this gun. These things are definitely smooth. Yeah, EOTech sight, Geisley trigger, an older Yoltor stock. Uh, this is an excellent little rig. I've been running this one for quite a bit, quite a number of years. I know Chad's had it for a number of years, and we've been running it, going pretty well with that. Well, yeah, I've had most of the components, but we've outfitted with a few new things. We've got a fax and barrel on there, too, which I've okay. been trying out. And it's a stainless steel barrel, but they're very inexpensive. I mean, if you want to build out a rig for not a lot of money, I mean, yep. barrels are like 140 bucks. Well guys, stay tuned. We're gonna have many more videos on AR building. We're gonna do an upper build, a lower build, different profiles, things like that. But again, for the house, if you need a carbine, an AR is certainly hard to beat, especially at, long, at close range. If there's a threat, you know, in, in the immediate vicinity, a 5.56 packs a huge punch at a close distance. But again, make sure you're using the proper combination of tactics, ammunition, for, for the job. You know, you don't want to get something that's going to shoot through multiple walls and hurt your family. So if mm -hmm. the situation lends itself well to a carbine, by all means, an AR is a great choice for a bump in the night. You know, they are a very popular gun for home defense just all around. But, you know, if you uh, don't want to blow your eardrums out in the middle of your house, that's one thing that a rifle will do inside. I mean, it will throw you off because, I mean, they're very loud in close quarters. They really are. But, you know, you could run something like this MMP, you know, 9 right here. And this is just a full-size handgun. We've outfitted it with a tyrant, okay? And a little streamlined, okay? Now this is the perfect rig for the house. You know, you pick this up off the bedside table, you've got a can on there, so it's quiet in the house. It's not gonna damage your hearing, so your perception remains, you know, key, okay? And you've got a momentary on and off light, so you can just flip it up, 
okay? Scan your area and whatnot. You flip it down when you identify your threat, let them have it, you know? But these things are really great. That's a substantial house gun there, you know? And again, yeah, it is. Smith & Wesson makes their, you know, their M&P gun is just excellent. I love the way it fits the human hand, it, you know, and it does have the interchangeable back straps mm -hmm. for you guys that are into that sort of thing. And uh, I'll tell you what, this rig here is great. They also make this uh, model with uh, RMR cut already mm -hmm. on it. So if you want to run like a high, uh, you know, like a low profile dot and be able to just point the gun, boy, these things are just great. And I'll tell oh, you yeah. what, it is a little big and bulky, but if you don't have time to grab a pistol or a shotgun or a, a rifle or a shotgun, uh, this rig here definitely get the job done and uh, run you some 158s or 147s, something moving real slow and quiet. And uh, let's say there are multiple threats in the house. Say you uh, deal with one threat, you know, neutralize one threat. Maybe the other threats don't know you're there. That might give you the edge up on the situation if you're outnumbered. You know, from a tactical standpoint, suppressors certainly have their uses. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been kind of putting together rigs here and we were thinking about what would be good for the house. Well, a compact shotgun is good. Now, don't get me wrong, this full-size Blackwater 590 here is a wonderful, wonderful firearm. There's yeah, you start nothing bumping wrong into corners, it. moving around the hallway and stuff, you, you do, might. You do start bumping mm -hmm. into things. Now, uh, kel has their uh, KSG, and uh, this is the gun that I, I entered the frame with earlier. Um, it has two magazine tubes that hold seven shots and one in the chamber, so you get 15 shots. Uh, and we've outfitted this with one of the little Fab Defense um, flashlight holders. And that's just a little Surefire, uh, one of the uh, 6PXs. Mm -hmm. That's an LED light. Surefire. But so you got momentary, you just squeeze it, you know, do your thing. Well, plus that grip on the front actually will, you know, help you cycle the uh, action a lot smoother too. You can really rack it hard. You know, get Absolutely. Those and uh, I suppose from a tactical standpoint, let's just say that, um, you know, you're, you're clearing a, your house and you don't know what threats may lie. You could have one tube loaded up with less than lethal or bean bags or whatever, rubber buckshot, mace rounds, all different kind of buckshot loads or whatever. You know, if you want some less than lethal, you got one side that's less than lethal. You can swap the side and you got deadly on one side. So, I don't know. The implications are there for a selectable magazine. Okay, well, this is not a threat that I want to kill. This is a threat that I want to just stop or scare them. But then again, I guess there's certainly a liability there. So say that, say you load one tube with less than lethal and one tube with lethal. Okay, well you get up in the middle of the night and you don't forget, you know, you don't remember which one is which and you accidentally pump somebody with a three inch magnum buckshot load and you, you smoke them right there, you know, you kill them. Well, when you only meant to shoot them with a beanbag. So if you're going to, to take on that mentality of an, an increased a, a gradual increase of lethality in a shotgun. Some people like to load a candy cane style load in their shotgun, even like this Mossberg. Mm -hmm. They like to run like a, you know, rubber buckshot followed by a beanbag, followed by birdshot, followed by, you know, buckshot, followed by a slug, and they want to be able to, to gradually neutralize the threat. If that's what you want to do, whatever, if, you know, if that's your, your standpoint in terms of your tactics, just make sure you know exactly what you're point, putting down range when you squeeze that trigger. Yeah, I mean, if you put a beanbag down range and expect somebody to fall over and just, you know, stop coming at you, you might be uh, disappointed because some right. crazy people out there. But yeah, exactly. So like, again, there's that, you know, um, psychological factor mm -hmm. of that, that action racking. And when they hear that, most people, unless they're just really determined to do something bad, they're going to run because they know. You know exactly you got, what that sound Everybody is. knows the sound of a shotgun. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, you know, what if we don't have any of this stuff? What if you have your everyday carry light? Okay. All right. So, why don't you tell them about the Glock here? All right. Well, Pretty this is unique just a little Glock there. Yeah, this is a Talo Special. This is just a little Glock 23. Okay. And um, basically, the slide has been nibixed. Pretty much just been coated. And uh, it feels like they've done a little bit of work to the trigger, too. Maybe they've got a little something different in there. Yeah, but, it's got a nice trigger, got night sights on it. But anyways, you know, this is your everyday carry piece, okay? It's what you carry in the car with you every day, what you carry in your person, okay? You also carry an everyday carry light. So what you can do is, you know, shine your light. You know, you can scan your house, but you shine your light up here, okay? And this basically looks like a person standing next to you. So if someone, say, breaks in your house, they have a gun or whatever, they might try to engage this light over here, all right? But you're over here, you see a shot or you see the person, whatever, you can take them down. All right, but a lot of people do the cross draw thing too, okay? But, you know, light like this gives you momentary on and off as well, where you can just push it and leave it on the whole time. But this is a very handy option, but something that you gotta kinda work on, because shooting strong-handed, 
it's a lot more difficult than people might think. So. Absolutely, yeah. When you're just using, you know, one hand, you certainly want to, you know, make sure you know exactly what your gun's going to do and what you're going to do, and make sure your hand strength lends itself well to using that gun in that situation. Now, yep. like Chad mentioned, I mean, there are books and numerous classes that have been written and preached on when it comes to flashlight use mm -hmm. in defensive situations, whether you hold it out here, between your nuts, or whatever, doesn't <laughs> matter. Just pick something that works for you and that tactfully or tactically makes sense mm -hmm. in your house. Okay, and, and of course, guys, that comes with training. We're just trying to showcase cool guns, but of course, every video we do have to throw out a wild card. Oh yeah, well, All right. you, know, you gotta throw a wheel gun in the mix. Yeah, we gotta throw a wheel gun in the mix. We got the uh, Smith & Wesson Governor. This is a stainless model, and uh, I tell you, Nobody's really going to argue with, uh, you know, four or five pellets of buckshot coming out of them out of a 410. And, uh, you know, if you do have a flashlight and this is the only gun you can grab, you would certainly have a really good opportunity mm -hmm. to put a decent little spread at average handgun distances in terms of combat. And, uh, boy, that governor is just a, a very substantial firearm, but it is. a lot I mean, of power. And yeah, we showcased the governor, but, I mean, really, if you want something simple, just any revolver in general, you know, you don't have to fumble with magazines or anything like that. Some people don't like to keep a loaded gun by the bed, so they might be fumbling with a magazine or whatever the case may be, but keep a revolver by the bedside and maybe lock it up during the day or whatever. All you gotta do is just take it out, pull the trigger. That's you it. Know? And if you do have a misfire, pull the trigger again, the cylinder's gonna cycle, okay? That's it. I mean, but this 410 is uh, substantial, and you can actually run 45 Long Colt out of this. There's some very nice defensive loads out And there. 45 ACP. And 45 ACP on Moon Clips, so you've got all that uh, ammunition available to run out of this particular gun. The nice is thing about great. moon clips with that particular gun is that they are very fast to reload. And some of you guys, let's say you're reloaders and you like to keep all your brass, the moon clips, everything will stay on the moon clip. So you can just fork your moon clips off into an ammo can for your reloading. Mm -hmm. And of course, loading the moon clips, it goes into one, one unit. There's nothing to turn, nothing to manipulate. They just drop in and yep. you close the gun. So very, very awesome revolver. Mm -hmm. um, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, we always like to do the five guns videos. Um, we were thinking about you know ideas. Yeah, it's always six guns, but we were thinking about different ideas for five guns videos. And you know what, a, what about a bump in the night? And that just came to us as being a really cool idea mm -hmm. because there are people that think, okay, well, what gun do I want uh, when the crap is hitting the fan, when the door's getting kicked in, when the dogs are raising hell? I mean, it's happened to me personally, and it doesn't have to be a threat. It can be a threatening animal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had situations where my dogs will bark at stuff out in the yard, and I go out there, and there's a bobcat raising hell. Well, you don't ever know what's going on, you know? Right. So, so you know, again, guys, uh, you know, these guns are cool. All of these firearms, really awesome, excellent choices, just in general for all kinds of things. But, again... Make sure the tactics meet the threat accordingly. Make sure that you're, you properly identify any threat that's in your home before squeezing the trigger because once you let that round go, it's not coming back. Yep. Absolutely. But guys, we appreciate you watching today's video. We have many more on the way. We'll catch you next time.